Hello guys, I am Rainwright the Cartoon Analyst here. You may be wondering, where have I been and what have I been doing recently? Well, I'll tell you what I've been doing. Recently, I've done did a letterbox account. It's basically a place where I store movies that I have watched recently or have watched before. It's also there to give my opinion on movies if I can't give it on YouTube or on my DeviantArt, so... Hey, it's a good thing for me, I guess. Anyways, I recommend that you follow me on Wolf on Letterboxd as WolfBrony underscore 28. It will be fun. I also have some upcoming videos. Here are the two I do have planned. One of them is to give my thoughts on the Arts of Finale, since I do have quite a bit to say about it. I'm not really going to go into detail on what I think of it now, but I will talk about it in the near future. This is a show that meant a lot to me, so it's fair to give what I think about how what, how it ended. It's honestly sad to see my childhood end like this, but hey, all good things must come to an end, am I right? The other video I have planned is the top 5 things that Top Cat Begins did better than Top Cat the movie. It's no secret that if you followed me a few times before, Top Cat the movie is one of my most hated films I have seen in a long time. Whereas its prequel, Top Cat Begins, was just mediocre. After watching that, I realized there are some things that did improve from last time, even if it was just barely or marginally. I plus, I do have things that I can at least give the prequel credit, unlike what came beforehand. So that video is definitely in the works. And finally, my third and planned video that... Ugh, this is gonna be one of my biggest reviews on my channel. And that is... Yes, I am going to be doing a review of this movie. In case you don't follow me, I have made videos on the three people behind it. And originally I was going to complete the series, but sadly there was too much to talk about. So in order to talk about how bad they are, as well as what they have done, I got to review the move that pretty much doomed their studio, Harmonic Entertainment. Not only will it serve as my final video to ever talk about these three again, but it's going to be one of my longer videos. It might be separate into two to three parts, actually. And for the video to happen, I'm going to need a few things, and I'm going to need some help. But the one I need some help on the most is collaborations. For this video, I'm going to be just... The video will be discussing some matters that have harmed them in any way so in order to talk about those disgraces i need to bring up some witnesses who had dealt with these three so for my recommendation i recommend sending an unlisted video to me and the to me to share your experiences with these three so it can be featured on my video however i do have part of the video in completion so here is a preview of the review It's time. After putting this off so long, I didn't think I ever want to talk about these three again, but if I want to move on from this situation, I gotta review their movie. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. This has been one of the biggest YouTube controversies I have ever seen in my life. And there's quite a few videos dedicated to bashing these three. Hell, I've made videos on them talk about how bad these three are. And I also, and today, uh, it's time to finally talk about their movie. A.K.A. the film that pretty much destroyed Harmonic and what started the downfall of Darren Pipster, J.P. Lyons, and Alexander Mortensen. After this review, I'm going to be taking down these disgraces to mankind. Because they have done some awful stuff 
that have tarnished the name of TRF, Harmonic, LMNB, others associated with it, and many, many more. As you can tell, this is not just going to be your normal review of a bad animated movie. This will serve as a warning to stay away from these three, and, and in my honest opinion, the final video I'm ever going to talk about these three Rod Fellows and anything associated it with it. Because after this, I wanna move on! Sorry for my rage, but believe me, I'm gonna be raging later. So anyways, let's get this over with.